Hello, beautiful, <clears throat> amazing, fantastic world, and you, wonderful, beautiful, magnificent individual you. Today, I would like to speak about, well, medit meditation, well, as it always is, really, I med one meditates throughout the whole day, really, and meditation is not sitting still and getting into a trance and into a, well, into the astral world without being connected to the physical, in a sense. Of course, we do have practices where we allow ourselves to, well, survey and actually explore and experience these realms, but rather by oneself for, well, being being with friends and acquaintances and such and just ending up falling into a daydream or something is not exactly i wouldn't this dare say it is constructive in the end but by actually as i mentioned in my last video re retrieve and receive the forces that is well rogue that is seeping out of our own being in distractions, in daydreamings, in, in any kinds of activities that might not bring about any kind of constructive and healing results. Of course, we are not here to only make things useful, for we are here to enjoy and to cherish, to experience life to its fullest. But within this life, to be able to experience life to its fullest, but also in a healthy way, in a moderate way, in a respectful way, and, well, to not ending up overindulging or becoming gluttonous and so on. It truly is holding oneself, one's inner being, to a standard. And through love for the higher worlds, connection to the higher worlds they are constantly reminding us to stay humble and to to keep moderately always to more or less hold back we have we we really have the capabilities to truly unload but we don't ever we have no reason to and if we ever should come to unload it is because of well, a moment of weakness, a moment of our spiritual defenses being down, in a sense. Don't get me wrong, it happens. We are not infallible. But we work and strive towards... You try, you try to throw a whole huge rock down a well, but there is no splash. That is what we do, strive, that is turning the other cheek. For by us not retaliating we do take the karma on our own back and transform it by ourselves it is a difficult path to take and it is a path that requires us to let go of our pride and arrogance and let go of kind of our feeling of entitlement and so on for a beggar of the spirit well it is not it is not a path for everyone at this time but it is a path always worth taking for this path brings discipline it brings inner knowledge of your own being and when you have gained knowledge for from your own being you have knowledge of others too when you have not reached a certain stage the higher and the more developed you become, the more severe the consequences for misusing these forces that has been graced to us by the higher worlds. So, the more you know of the consequences, the more severe the consequences become, because we know better. We should know better. That is just, it, it, it is just the essence I wish to convey here. It is about holding oneself to a sturdy, strong and 
foundational moral standard and moral tact. And we do have kind of two sides to us if we are for we are a threefold human being in a balance between two forces down here on earth. And these two forces are in the middle of these two forces, in the balance between these two forces are the Christ. It's the human being. If we go too far to one side or to the other, we create karma that makes it necessary for a counter situation to occur on the other side in a sense. It, is, it will be a constant flip-flop back and forth. I will use a very concrete example. In the 50s, 60s, in the hippie era, is when Lucifer unbridledly came out uh, from huge masses of people. And then to be able to balance things out so things didn't go out of control, Ahriman put a lid on it again and tried to balance things out so that things come back to, to a certain stability again. Of course, none of these beings are exactly good at keeping a balance. It will always, if Ahriman is trying to balance, he wants it to go into his way. But when you are conscious of both beings and you have the Christ in the center, the human being, he, he, he speaks through our heart and our love and compassion. And by holding to that balance, none of these forces ever will be extreme in our, way, uh, in our life. So we will neither flow over to hedonism and to the right to, well, I don't know, right to eat. <laughs> right, that, that is okay, but right to overindulge, right to, uh, right to do whatever one pleases without morality. And on the other hand is, we, 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 should, we should produce, we should, we should work, we should, if, we, if it cannot be eaten, it is, uh, it is useless to us, and so on. It is, you're, that side is here to consume life. It's not exactly a very healing or constructive way of living either. In the middle, in the balance, you neither become frivolous and hedonistic, and on the other hand, you don't become uh, overly dutiful, cold, and believing that the only reason for living is work and earning money. In the middle, you come to understand that we are cultivating our own inner being, and through the cultivation of our own inner being, understanding for life for another, and to never lose our love for another human being, another individual, is so important. Never let go of faith, love, and hope. As I said, you will, we will literally give away the life we have been bestowed by ending up becoming walking cold zombies, for we have no purpose in life, we do not we do not wake up to cultivate and to work towards anything. But when you do have reached spiritual, come into spiritual science, come into esoteric development, you truly, your life begins. You are resurrected and you have a purpose, you have a meaning, you have a goal, you have a direction. And you are constantly being supplemented by the higher worlds to keep on going. Once you have found that, they will, I promise you, they will unbridledly give you everything you need to keep on going. And as I also mentioned, the graces that are given by us doing this work, we are never meant to stop for any of these and we are not meant to work for them either. They are, you just work, and if a grace comes, they often come and surprise us. And we will be grateful. Thank you for this. We, we didn't expect it, but thank you. We will keep on going. It is an encouragement to keep going. We, will, we should not be obsessed with 
the reward with the rewards we have been given for as in as in the bible don't work for the rewards they will have their reward work for philadelphia for the higher worlds for humanity and make that the joy instead of only feeling joy when a certain grace and a certain reward comes for what are you doing in between there probably torturing yourself till to that goal one should not actively torture oneself and well what would it matter if you got a goal and you are halfway destroyed yourself to reach that goal health is important so that you can live a full and a beautiful and as genuine and vibrant life you can and by only working for the rewards somewhere in the future there is very little life force to grasp onto here to unfold your own inner being and as i say you will have to be it you will have to feel at home in your own inner being that takes time you earn your way to be able to sit within your own being and i will leave you with this today it was a, a little more somber but also a tone of it is still love you know discipline is love as long as it is not whipping whipping discipline you know we do not beat ourselves up of discipline discipline comes out of always being there and being gentle with oneself is a try again try again don't you worry you are here down on earth and we learn and we grow we make mistakes and we learn from the mistakes and whatever comes whatever goes you are given as nourishment for your development every single experience you experience in life is nourishment for your growth and it is only our attitude towards what we have experienced that makes or breaks this we need to change our attitude towards how and what we feel towards our past we need to become gentle with our past we need to love our past selves unite ourselves with our past selves so it can function in in your present self in a healed way for there are many places we have left a lot of pieces of us behind and we need to retrieve them through memory through meditation and going backwards and truly take a look at certain things we might neglect to look at for even we even though we do not look at it believing it is not there how can you take up that memory then it is in your soul it is part of you it is part of us all the trauma all the pain all the suffering but it is building our character it makes us a personality you know a person that has never experienced any suffering any strife in life they barely have any personality everything has just gone right for them right so they might be vibrant amazing beautiful spirits but they haven't really headbutted against anything that have built them character for you know how you build and become aware of yourself and come into your own inner being it is to push against something that is not you in a sense of course it is you in the one uh, in the cosmic scheme of things of course but i digress it's about meeting connecting and respecting another individual human being and so thank you so much may you be protected guided blessed and loved by father holy spirit christ michael angel masters of all ancestors from every incarnation and may you be provided for with all that you need 
to survive, live, thrive, being creative and inspirational so others can be the same, that we can heal and create Philadelphia together. So thank you so much, dear sibling. See you later. Love you. Goodbye.